so here is a chart which basically kind of lists all the differences between rdbms and hadoop so when we talk about you know structured so rdbm uh, basically uh, data types rdbms has you know structured data types right so in rdbms you basically generally create tables that have you know a fixed type attached to them whereas in hadoop uh, as we'll see in in you know uh, further when we talk about hdfs and mapreduce we can process structured and unstructured data as well so in hadoop when we are storing data it doesn't even look at what kind of format the data is present in right in rdbms whenever you are writing data to rdbms you need to know the format of data beforehand so that you can first create a table based on the format and then you can insert data in that particular table right in hadoop no such thing is required when you are loading data or when you are processing data in case of processing in rdbms there is very limited processing so sql provides some processing on top of rdbms whereas in hadoop as we have already seen processing is coupled with the data governance wise rdbms is uh, you know it has a lot of standards and it is structured but in case of hadoop it is loosely structured because it is open source and then it is every day there are new developments happening in in uh, hadoop world right so right now there are no particular set uh, you know standards uh, in in hadoop so in case of rdbms you need schema on right as as i just said you first need to create tables and then you insert data whereas in case of hadoop you need schema on read so when you when you are processing data at that time you need to understand what is the format of data otherwise when you are writing data it doesn't matter what format the data is in just give me a second guys i'm sorry guys that was my daughter she wanted to explain her concepts in small data technologies <laughs> anyway so uh, speed wise in rdbms your reads are very fast right so rdbms is designed for fast reads whereas in case of hadoop both reads and writes both of them are fast so as i said in case of rdbms right because it needs to check the format of data whether it it is actually according to the schema or whether it is actually according to the you know structure of the table the writes are very slow in case of rdbms whereas in case of hadoop both reads and writes are fast right so in case of rdbms there is license cost hadoop is completely free there is only support cost that that too only if you buy it from some distributor of hadoop right otherwise it is open source anybody is can just download it and start using it and then best fit use case for rdbms it is online transaction processing and in case of hadoop it is analytical so still guys so online transaction processing is basically it's it's the use case where for example your banking transactions and all that stuff still happens through rdbms is hadoop is good for analytical use cases right so basically hadoop has one problem which is high latency high latency means even if you are let's say processing a uh, small data in hadoop it will take some seconds to start the processing right it it has problem of high latency but once it starts after that it processes the data very fast right so which means it cannot be used for transactional purposes right so for example let's say when you open uh, uh, when you open let's say linkedin or facebook right the page loads very fast that technology which is working on you know uh, on the back end to to make that page appear so fast for the users it cannot be alone hadoop because hadoop has high latency so for example you know uh, uh, if if you if you try to run a mapreduce job on the back end you know which can serve that data to the to the end user then it will take a few seconds so hadoop is not best fit for transactional purposes hadoop is good for analytical purposes right where you are okay with high latency but you need high throughput also is that clear guys the difference between the transactional part and the analytical part if there is any question just let me know
all right thank you